Hello everybody, this is Jesse from Napco Tech Support. And in this video, we're going to go over how to set up your Starlink radio to report to a SureGuard System 5 receiver. First, we're going to pull the radio up on the Napco NOC and click Edit and go down to Dealer Entered Programming. Then we're going to move over to Receiver Type. To the drop-down menu, we're going to pick SureGuard 5. Only pick this selection if you are reporting to a System 5 receiver. If you're reporting to any other SureGuard, use a selection that says 2, 3, and 4. So we're going to type in our IP address. Along with the port number provided by the central station. The key is going to be all zeros. And finally we're going to type in our account number with the DNS. And then the account number. And we're going to use the advanced options for a system 5 for a leading or trailing zero based on where the DNS needs to be identified. This is important because the SureGuard system 5 supports profiling up to 64 per line card. And what the profiling does, it gives you the ability to have different supervision times based on the radio plan to properly supervise a commercial account. And once we're all set, we're going to click save. And send the changes in. As you can see, in this case, we need a trailing zero after the DNS, so it pads the DNS first. This is going to be something you're going to have to speak to your central station about, about how they need the DNS identified in their system. Also, if you're going to be going unsupervised, any non-UL plans that are 24 hours or 7 days to a System 5 receiver, and sending the E603 for supervision, the DNS needs to point to the main DNS number or the catch-all profile, the profile zero, of the SureGuard System 5 receiver. Just to review, we went over how to program your Starlink radio to report to a SureGuard System 5 receiver. And as always, for more information, you can visit us on the web at tech.napcosecurity.com. Thank you all for watching.